the Museum of the American Railroad, formerly known as the Age of Steam Railroad Museum, has been a Dallas landmark, attraction, and institution for more than 45 years, entertaining and educating an estimated 2 million people. Even though the museum has been a part of the Fair Park campus since its inception, the collection is national in its representation. The museum features many superlative and historic artifacts. The collection includes the largest steam engine ever built, the mighty big boy, which weighs in at over one million pounds and is capable of pulling freight trains over a mile in length. The 4018 often saw service pulling massive freights through historic Sherman's Hill in the Rocky Mountains. There is also the DD40 AX Centennial, the largest diesel locomotive ever built that contains two massive V16 diesel power plants that combine to provide over 6,500 horsepower. The museum even has a Pennsylvania GG1 locomotive significant not only for its Raymond Lowry Art Deco beauty, but also for having pulled the funeral train for Bobby Kennedy and represents electric railroading in the Northeast Corridor of the United States. Our rolling stock includes the Texlin business car that was used by President Harry Truman in his famous whistle-stop tour of the United States and a sleeping car used in the funeral train of President Franklin Roosevelt. The museum has a complete 1920s Pullman passenger train consist of baggage car, coach, dining car, parlor club car, second class section car, as seen in many vintage Hollywood movies, and a National Mechanical Engineering Landmark, the Pullman Glengyle Hotel Car. This museum, which started out with the Houston, Texas, and Central Eakin Seat Station, and a couple of engines, has grown to 36 pieces of rolling stock and another landmark structure, the last working interlocking tower in Texas, Tower 19. Some of the stock has to be stored off-site because of its fragility due to weather concerns, and other pieces simply have no room to be displayed. Unlike many railroad museums, the collection at the Museum of the American Railroad has continued to grow. Because of this growth, the museum needed a new home. Many plans and ideas were brought to the table, but it was most fortunate that the museum's need fell in line with the growth and expansion of Frisco, Texas, which was interested in preserving not only its small town field, but its heritage as a railroad town. It is therefore with great excitement and anticipation that the Museum of the American Railroad is moving to a new home in the railroad town of Frisco, Texas, just north of its original home in Dallas. Frisco's vision coincided with the museum's desire to become the premier museum of transportation history and technology in the Southwest, and on May 5, 2009, a formal agreement was entered with the city to relocate to Frisco. The Museum of the American Railroad already has an 850 square foot presence in the beautiful Frisco Heritage Museum which features an exterior reminiscent of early downtown storefronts and an entrance rotunda resembling a water take from the age of steam of railroading. Within this building on the second floor you will find such items as a restored wigwag signal visitors may activate, a vintage rail handcar, a railway express coffin carrier, and bells and lamps of the period. Phase 1 of the site plan includes approximately 4,000 feet of track for our 2,600 feet of rolling stock. The first move would also include the Eakin Street Station House, its attendant track speeder shed, and the Santa Fe Interlocking Tower 19. The move of rolling stock is fairly straightforward as all these artifacts were intended to be in motion. The buildings will be considerably harder to move due to their size of the structures and the height of Tower 19, which is 26 feet tall without its concrete base. Future phases could include structures covering a main station headhouse inspired by the 1897 Boston North Station. This building would complement Frisco Square, a development of new construction using architectural features from the turn of the century structures. Further build-out and continued growth of the collection can be accommodated in the 12.34 acre site. Indeed, the future is bright for both the growing city of Frisco and the Museum of the American Railroad. What possible better venue could there be for a railroad museum than in a historic railroad town?